fun fact. Malayne is actually really closely spelled to my government last name. This is basically my last name in herb form. I feel like that's a sign. I feel like it's a synchronicity from the universe. So what's up guys? This is not usually how I record my videos. I'm kind of doing like a handheld tripod thing right now. This is a little different for me, but I wanted to take a moment to show you all this herb that I was about to use. It's something that I use quite consistently and I thought I would just kind of like share some information on it with y'all just in case someone else might find use for it in their own lives as well. So the herb that I wanted to talk about today is Malayne. And if you follow me on TikTok or my other channels, you might have seen me talk about it quite a few times just because one, it's really requested by a lot of my followers to talk about just because it is one of the few herbs that are smokable. For some reason, a lot of my following on TikTok loves to hear about smokable herbs and herbs you can smoke or mix with other herbs. So I've actually spoken about it quite a bit, but the reason that I wanted to talk about it today is because a couple weeks ago, I actually had COVID. One of the long-term impacts that I definitely still feel a lot since having COVID is not only like mucus and buildup within my windpipes and also that kind of like COVID cough, but I recently went on a hike and I could just feel how much my body was sort of like struggling to catch up as far as my breath went and just overall my stamina for the hike alone. One thing that I really noticed while doing this hike is there was a lot of mucus and phlegm coming up because I was breathing hard. That's not something that typically happens. And I would say the mucus was kind of like that indication to me that I still have some underlying symptoms just because I'm someone who does generally move a lot and that's not typically something I deal with. Um, I know for sure that it was one of those more long-term effects from having COVID. So that's led me to basically deciding that I'm going to put myself on a Mullein regimen for a little while just because Mullein is an expectorant. And so as an expectorant, it's really good at allowing your body to get rid of and secrete and loosen up a lot of that mucus and that phlegm that specifically exists within the air pipes and the respiratory system. And the main reason that I want to talk about Mullein specifically as a potential solution for my issue is because Mullein specifically has an affinity for the respiratory system. So most herbs in general have an affinity to a particular system or an organ. And outside of that, herbs are generally considered synergistic as well, which means that they actually work synergetically with the entire body. But there is typically a system that it will tend to aid or function with the best. And so Mullein is one of those herbs that work really well with the respiratory system. And that's why typically when people ask about herbs that they can smoke, I recommend Mullein because not only is it a smokable herb, but it does also generally help smokers loosen up some of that phlegm and that gunk that can kind of accumulate within the body and within the lungs and the airways due to smoking. Because I will say, just because an herb is safe to smoke and it does generally have benefits, the only thing that should really be going inside of your lungs is air. But if you are someone who smokes, you know, I would say Mullein is one of those herbs that you should look into, not only for the purpose of smoking, especially if you're someone who is interested in doing tolerance breaks. Overall, it's an herb that I would recommend as a tea and something that you might take maybe on like semi-regularly basis just because it is one of those herbs that will help the function of your lungs and sort of just like excrete that mucus and excrete all of those nasty things that get caught up in your airways. And this is great for someone like me who also has like the COVID cough right now because essentially what it does is it helps you excrete this mucus and make your coughs more productive. So now when you're coughing these things up, you're really coughing out what you need to cough out. So it really just kind of ups that natural process and allows your body to be more effective. And that's really what herbs should be used for. Herbs are definitely are a great option for preventative care, but also upping and aiding the process of your body's natural healing processes. So that's really cool.
So on top of being an expectorant, Mulane is also believed to be a demulcent as well. And as a demulcent, Mulane is believed to create sort of like a anti-inflammatory soothing coating over the mucous membrane. So not only is it helping clear up and move the mucus, it's also creating a soothing anti-inflammatory layer for the mucous membranes to not further cause any more inflammation or harm to the internal body. So my preparation for Mulane is fairly simple. The part of Mulane that has the most medicinal benefits is the leaf. So this is actually Mulane leaf. And as you can see, it has a really light and fluffy texture. Like it's actually very fuzzy. And I have to be careful when I open this because I always end up sneezing um, and it kind of like triggers my allergies. But because it is just a leaf, I am going to make a simple tea with it. And it'll be nothing too crazy. I'll probably do a ratio of like a tablespoon of Malayan leaf to um, a cup of water. And most recommendations for herbs goes by teaspoons, which is up to you. But one of the books that I sort of have used for my basis of measuring herbs and creating ratios is alkaline herbal medicine and they always recommend using a tablespoon of herbs so that's what i basically base all of my measurements off of but a one cup to one tablespoon ratio will make a very highly concentrated herbal preparation so if you want to dial it down, I'd probably maybe cut it in half or start with a couple teaspoons and then work your way up until you feel more comfortable using more herbs. If you're someone who's interested in smoking Mulane for those benefits, I would recommend probably only using a teaspoon or so if you're going to mix it in or Mulane can just be smoked by itself and you would prepare it the same you would any other herb that's going to be smoked so there's nothing special you would do particularly but I'd recommend probably mixing it in at first and seeing how you feel and how it impacts you and then if you feel comfortable you could literally just like roll your own like Mulane pre-roll um and yeah, just smoke it that way. And I will say though, just because it is being smoked, it won't have a lot of the same benefits just because you're literally burning up the herbs. So the benefits aren't going to be fully there. If you're looking for the best use of Mulane and getting the full benefits, I would simply just make a tea and extract all of those benefits through water and drink it up. I think that's honestly the best way to consume this herb, but it can be smoked and it is believed to have similar benefits for lung and respiratory health. And I will say the benefit to that too is smoking Mulane will get the herb exactly to where you want it to be, which would be the lungs. So it is a more direct route, but you do also run the risk of losing those benefits because of the form of administration, if that makes sense. If you're interested in purchasing Mulane, I'll give you guys a link below to where I buy bulk herbs. I used to have an apothecary and I did sell Mulane, but honestly, I feel like it's more cost effective for y'all to just buy the bulk version. The only reason that I was selling herbs on my site is because I wanted a highly curated list of herbs for particular functions and uses. And so that's why I sold it myself just to have all the herbs I specifically wanted in one place. But since I don't have my shop up right now, I think it just makes sense for y'all to go out and purchase it there and I'll link it below. Or I've also bought herbs on Etsy before and I feel like Etsy has a really good supply of wild crafted herbs from people who simply grow herbs and like to sell them on Etsy. Um, I will say though, quality control would be a lot harder to regulate on Etsy just because it would be person to person. But I mean, honestly, it's up to you. I think Etsy is definitely cheaper, but you do get a smaller quantity just because it's usually people's personal um, crop. So Mountain Rose Herbs is a great place for bulk herbs and they have a really nice supply and it's also very ethically sourced. Everything is either wild crafted or organic, which is why I love them. And so, yeah, I like literally swear by them. I never bought herbs from anywhere else and I really like them. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching y'all. Hopefully there's something you can take away from this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you could hear more herbal content and I can get paid. But yeah, thank you.